Building Rhythm Games in Unreal Engine First, you will need static meshes to represent your rhythm objects. These static meshes will be the visual representation of the rhythm actors. Next, you'll need to define a path that the rhythm actors will follow or slide upon. The spline component is the perfect tool to define a path in Unreal Engine. You'll also need to define a judgment area. This is the spot where rhythm actors are synced to the music. It's the area where the user has to press a button to score. The rhythm judgment box is just a specialized collision box, and this is what we'll use. You'll also want to add visuals to show the user where the judgment box is. You can use anything here as long as it's within the box. The spline component does not need to be a straight line. It can be any shape and length. Rhythm actors will follow it and reach the judgment box in sync with the music. Let's take a brief look at a complete example that puts the three elements we just discussed together. There are two spline lanes and their respective judgment boxes here, but the principle is the same. During play, the rhythm actors will be spawned and will come straight to the judgment box in sync with the music. In part two, we'll cover how the rest of the system works.